We got eight Mac OS tips that most people don't know about. You might know a few, but I'm guessing not all. Welcome back to the video. So I'm just gonna jump into it right away. I got eight different Mac OS tips that I'm guessing not everyone's gonna know about. You're gonna know some of these maybe. I'm guessing most people will only know 50% or less though. Put in the comments if you knew these or not. Without further ado, I'm just gonna share my screen here. I'll jump in from time to time. Let's get into it. All right, so for tip number one, I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna open up a finder window. Just watch this. So we're gonna to go to documents. Now, if you see this little arrow right here, this little right arrow here, if you click on it, obviously it opens up everything underneath it in list view. So you basically open up a folder and you can see all the subfolders. But see how there's some files that might still be under these subfolders? Like if I click on this arrow now, it lists a couple additional files. Well, let's just go ahead and close that. If I actually hold down the option key now and click this little arrow and just, you know, right now, watch what happens. It basically opens up everything, including the subfolder. So now the subfolders are open too. So let me go ahead and show you one last time. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold option right now. I'm gonna open it up and you can see the subfolders are closed. But this time I'm gonna hold the option key down, click on it and look at it. it opens up all the subfolders so you can see every single fold, you know, every single file basically in the main folder. All right, for number two, let's look at my screen over here again. So again, this is gonna be in the Finder window. This time I'm just gonna go anywhere in here. I'm just gonna go over here to Documents, and we're gonna actually change. See up here, some people like to have this. This is basically gonna be, you know, if you click on this, this is kind of the folder view. This is the list view. So I'm gonna go into this view. You have to be in this view right here, but if you have your folders, you know, listed like this, you can do a couple cool things, or at least one cool thing here. If you go ahead and right click in here anywhere else, and you have your right click enable, make sure you right click enable. You go down to view, um, show view options down here. See that right there? One cool thing you can do is, a lot of people don't even realize this, but you can click on color here, and then you can change the background, any color you want. See that of the actual folder. So if I close this, you'll see that now it's pink. So if I go over here to desktop, I go here to documents, it's pink. Now that may not be that important really. Why, why would you need that? Well, I, I actually like to do it when I kind of drill down and stuff. Let's say there was a finance folder in here and I clicked on it. If it's a finance folder, you might want to go in here and you say basically view options there. Uh, and then you basically go down here to color. And so if it's finance, sometimes I make my folders green. Or if it's something that's super important and you never want to delete them, make them red. So you never, you just know instantly if you go in that folder not to delete anything in there. So that's one of the reasons why you want to make the backgrounds a different color. Tip number three, look at my screen over here. So here's four files. We all know, like I think we all know, if you click on something, you right click on it, you can go get info. See that? And it gives you the info of the file over here. The problem with that is if you want to do another one, you usually have to click on it, go ahead and right click on it, do get info again. And if you, you know, another big problem, if you highlight a bunch of them and you do it, let me just show you, just let me just do two of them just so it doesn't open up them all. But if you do get info, it's gonna list both of them there. But if you had like a lot of files, it would go all over your screen and fill up your screen and you can't get good information easily on these files. So there's something you can do basically. Um, and it's, it's actually really easy. So if you go up here, if you're in Finder, see up here in the top, you go to File. If you basically hold down the Option key, you're gonna see how everything changes here, see that? And hold down the Option key and then click on Show Inspector. See it right there? Click on that. Now that's gonna create a file, a little box over here, and you're gonna be now able to click on each individual file, see this? And it's just gonna automatically give you that Get Info screen basically without having to reopen it each time. And you can actually do multiple ones. If you click on multiple ones, it's basically gonna just give you kind of the combined size of them. Um, but if you just delete it there with a the little X, it'll go away. But that's how you open an inspector. It's kind of an inspector window, they call it. And then you don't have to go through and kind of right click and get info on each individual file. You can just go right down the list and they're just gonna open up perfectly for you. All right, tip number four. Seems like it's super easy, but a lot of people don't even know this exists. Just watch this. So if you go into, uh, let me go in here right now. So I'm basically, I'm in, in Finder, I'm just in Recents. Let's just go to a folder that makes sense here. So I'm in here and this is gonna be my Documents folder. Now a lot of people, if you right click on something like this, you can go down to rename the file, right? And a lot of times you do that, but then it's time, sometimes it switches back and you, you have trouble just renaming the file. You have to do it a couple times. Other times people click on it, they go all the way up here and they go to, you know, they, they actually go to, you know, file and they can rename it here as well. But those are a lot of different steps. A lot of people don't know is as long as you click any file like that, just click the return key, the return key in your keyboard one time. And as soon as you do that, just start typing. And what it's going to do is it's going to let you rename the file instantly. So the return key. So all you have to do is just click on any file in here. I'll click on the same one, click on return. And then you can just do this, you know, screen shot, whatever you want to do. Hit enter. It's renamed right there for you. And you don't have to go up to that, you know, my new system and trying to figure out how to rename files. Just hit the return key and start typing. 
All right, number five is another easy one. So let's go down here. We're gonna open up Finder again. So if you have a window like this and you're in list view like I am here, and you'll notice that I have all this space in here. And you know, so these things are kind of spread out. But instead of going over here, you know you can always pick this over here, drag this over, and I'll show you really quickly, but you can drag this line here, see that? Everyone knows about that, I think. A lot of people don't know about this little tip. If you go up here, instead of dragging it, just double click it, watch this, one, two. It'll automatically resize this category so that it fits basically your longest file. So you know, any of these, any kind of of these different um, columns that you have, you just double click on that line and it'll automatically shrink it to the size that makes sense based on the longest file in there so that you're not kind of covering anything up but you're not having too much space. It's super simple, but a lot of people don't even know that exists. All right, let's see number six here. This is kind of helpful, I guess, but if you go in here again, here we are and let's just double click this again and we're gonna resize that. So I'm in here and I'm clicking on these different files, but I don't really know what they are again. So I, I can't see like a little picture of them or anything like that. Well, obviously a lot of people know about this one, but sometimes they have it turned off. What you wanna do is you just wanna go in here, you wanna go up to view up here, and then show preview. See that right there? Show preview, click on it. What it's gonna do is now if I click on any of these things over here, it's gonna show me all the information about that file, but including like a little screenshot. It makes more sense when you're doing graphics, like this is a graphic. So if you wanna see what the graphic looks like without actually, you know, this is too small, the little icon next to it, just open that up and you can show, uh, you know, you just show the preview of the file, plus a lot more information about it, all your tags and everything if they're in there. And then all you have to do is if you wanna get that off, you just go up to view, hide preview right there. It's gonna go away and uh, you can close everything down and that's all there is to it. All right, for number seven, this is another easy one. And I have two files selected on my screen here. You can see them. We all know that you can kind of right click here. You can copy this, right? Or you can actually just go up to um, you know, edit and then copy two items, right? But before I do that, let me just show you something that's kind of cool. So first of all, let's just, well, actually, let me just copy them first. So I'm gonna go up to edit up here and then copy these two items. Or I could do command C, that does the same thing, right? So if you go over to another folder over here though, and I wanna paste them in, I can obviously right click, I can click paste the two items, there it is right there. I'm not gonna do that though. I can also go up to, um, let me just see here, edit and I can paste the two items there. But before I do that, watch this. Hold the option key down right now before I hit this paste two items. It's gonna change move to two items, see that? So instead of pasting them, which means they're gonna copy them over, you can move them, which means they're gonna remove them from the first folder and actually move them over. So that's all done by holding the option key down, see that? If I hit the option key, it gives me the option to move them. If I just leave it open, it just pastes them. You can also do the same thing over here. If you basically, now if you're gonna right click, obviously you can paste them, right? But one thing you can do with the command here, and let me just make sure I get this right, it's Option, Command, V. So if you do Option, Command, and V to paste, instead of just Command, V, with the, you have to hold the Option key down, it'll also move them instead of just copy them. So that's the two different commands you can use there. And I don't know if that's useful or not, but it's just something that I've learned and I use quite a bit. All right, and the eighth tip, and I always like to do short tips like this so people can remember these. I don't like to do 100 or something. But another tip you can do is if you open up a Finder window, watch, I open up a brand new Finder window. A lot of people always, it just defaults to the Recents folder here, and a lot of people always say, well, what can I do to change that? I don't want to always see the Recents. I want it to go directly to my Documents folder, all right? Well, that's actually really easy. So all you have to do then is in Finder up here, you go to Settings, see it right there, and you open that up. Make sure that you go to General now, the General button right here, and then you go down here, right here. New uh, Finder window opens. So I'm gonna change that right now to Documents, watch that. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that and then I'll close the Finder window. Now every time I open up my Finder window here, you're gonna see that instead of it going to Recents, it opened up directly into Documents. And you could pick any folder you want in there, you can drill down, pick any folder. But that's what I like to do. So if you're always working on projects where you kind of always go into that folder, you just don't always wanna see Recents, just change it right there and it's super simple. All right, so let's wrap this video up. And I always keep these short because I want people to be able to kind of look at them, absorb them instead of giving you tons of them, right? If I give you even 20 of them, they're impossible to remember. So these things are always useful. And kind of, you know, if you just have to do them repetitively over time. You remember the keystrokes and stuff. Let me know if you guys knew about these or you didn't know about these. I think these are kind of common-ish, maybe in the middle somewhere. I'm just not sure. Also, check out my channel. I think I have like 520 videos now. And I'm going to be having doing a lot of product reviews coming up. I got some really cool keyboards and stands and doing a whole bunch of things. I mean, it's, I'm basically a Mac channel, but I also do hubs and SSD drives and everything in between. So if you guys like technology in general, especially Mapples and Macs and everything involved with those stories and news, subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you soon. Just got back from a little trip, so I just wanted to, I'm trying to get back into the mix of things. So I wanted to start with an easy video here, but I'll have some good ones coming up and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.